the experience of living becomes such a common thing that we almost become blind to it. Mm -hmm. But um, there's those moments when I'll, I'll realize that it really is not that common of a thing, mm -hmm. that it really is an exciting thing to have this moment in time. Mm -hmm. And I guess what I try to do is I try to um, keep myself from becoming blind to it. Welcome to Chicago Arts. We recently caught up with Alberto Aguilar, whose personal dinner invitation project blurs the line between life and art. There were there was two curators who who um, wanted to pay me a visit, a studio visit actually, and um, right away I was a little concerned because I at that point I no longer had a studio. I invited them to come over anyways, and 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 I thought that I would treat them. You know, one of the things I guess that I'm really good at um, is, you know, being hospitable to people who come into my home. So I figured that that's what I would do. Like, I, I would be very hospitable to these curators. I would give them coffee. I would give them pastries. I invited people. Um, I made 1,000 friends on, on Facebook with the intentions of doing this dinner. Now those people were sort of connected, mostly connected to the arts, to the art community here in Chicago, but at the same time there were people that were loosely connected to the, to the art um, community in Chicago. But they were all strangers, so I didn't know anybody. Um, and, you know, I mean, I tried to create arrangements of people. All, out of the people that I invited, only 109 people said that they would be attending. So those are the first, those are the people that I had to choose from. I sort of see them as curations, you know, where I am putting together the people that I thought would that there would be some sort of interesting connection or interaction between the people. I guess the thing that I wanted to most achieve through these dinners is to create a strong, long-lasting memory. So I did a lot of things to, to make this happen. One of the things that I did was I played the same music over and over again throughout the dinners. Like it, it was nonstop. There was always music at these dinners, and it was a soundtrack that I made it that that I made that was, um, you know, composed of mostly songs that were sort of like uh, maybe nostalgic or slightly on the sad side. So that was one thing that I did to reinforce the memory. The other thing was uh, that I gave henna tattoos at these dinners. Like I would give them to each person and I would time the henna tattoos that I gave for six minutes. <clears throat> well, one thing that I um, decided on early on was that you know, this wasn't going to be an eccentric experience. You know, it was it was actually going to be a very um, a very normal experience. Some people were really surprised to see when they came that it actually was me having them into my home. And the other thing that I decided, maybe this is probably after the second dinner, first dinner, second dinner, I decided that I wasn't going to take any pictures because I didn't want to be the one who, um, like I didn't want that to be my concentration. I didn't want to have to think about documenting this thing. I do, I mean, I do desire to go into other people's homes and to eat from their table. That's something that I love. It doesn't happen, it doesn't happen as often as I would like. It happens, but it doesn't happen as often as I like. But yeah, who doesn't like who doesn't like a, a magical night? For more information on Alberto and his works, visit albertoaguilar.com. All pertinent links can be found in the info section of this video. Thank you for watching Chicago Arts. Do you know someone involved in the arts in Chicago? Suggest and vote for individuals you would like to see interviews of through Google Moderator. Be sure to join us for our next episode and stay informed by subscribing to our channel. We'd like to hear what you think, so take a moment and comment on this interview. Thank you again from Chicago Arts.